Hello everyone, Brian Trapania here. Today we'll be walking through the process of making a quick cave scene for Doom 3. We'll start by making a line. Oh, actually, we're going to come up to customize and grid snap settings. Set the home grid to 16, 8, and 8 to better reflect the numbers that are used inside of the Doom 3 editor. Front, we're now going to be in splines, create a line, and we'll just make a shape up like that. Call that done. We'll move this one vertex down. Looks good. Come back to there. Now what we're going to do is extrude the line and we will uh, extrude it. Uh, let's just go about 3,000. Now let's show that inside the viewport. And how many segments we'll put? We'll put uh, 45 segments. That's a nice size. Now want to uh, make sure the normals are yet yeah, so it's facing the inside. So that's good. The uh, normals are invisible on the out and are on the inside. Otherwise, you'd have to come up to the modifier list, select normal, and make sure it flips the normals so that the inside is what will be seen when it's textured up. Uh, first thing we're going to do to this is throw some noise onto it, and uh, we'll set the noise a seed of uh, uh, we'll go six, scale it to about sixty, and Strength. We'll just mess with the. Uh, Want to go with the X? No, we'll go with the uh, the Y. No, not the Y. Yes, the X. Just out to the sides, so we don't have to deal with up and down issues. So that kind of twists it up now. Gives it some uh, mountain or uh, rock kind of look to it. Um, now what we want to do with that is is uh, throw a UV map onto it and we'll add, add a cylindrical and we will tile it 5 and 5 and uh, we'll make it fit by scrolling this up some more fit it in there we'll actually move it down a bit as well just the gizmo though middle mouse button so we don't lose the tool that we've selected and we will uh, stretch that out a bit that looks fine may move it down a bit more and uh, now what we're going to do is back up onto the main part of that and we're going to add a bend modifier to it and we'll uh, yeah we don't we'll just set this to 90 makes it a nice clean bend all the way across uh, and with that in its spot and everything like such, we can uh, turn this off. We have extrude noise, UV map bend, sure. Uh, now we'll come on over to letter M and we will just add a uh, texture that's already in place, bitmap, uh, C, textures, land test, just rock D, just a 512, 512 image, TGA underscore D for the diffuse. Uh, we'll add it to it, show it inside, come on over and uh, take a look, see if it looks okay. Of course, uh, you want to be a little fancier with the texture later on, but this will work for us. And F10 uh, shuts off the, the uh, video capture, so what we'll be doing is coming up to rendering and dropping down the uh, render here and we will just get it this way and then we'll, we'll just come on up and do a quick render of that scene there's what it looks like on the inside texture isn't the best but it'll be fine for us for right now uh, now we're going to uh, click off on that and we're going to come have some water over here we're going to create a plane underneath about yay size and uh, we'll add 40 and 40 and to that we will come to 
Alt W and uh, up to here we'll turn that into an editable poly and work with the vertices and let me just come back to here for a minute make sure everything is good size wise on this thing still yeah so back to here Alt W and we're going to soft selection use soft selection I'll just turn off the buttons for right now and uh, that's all fine we'll just come through and select some of these vertices on the ground part and we'll go back to an alt w here and we can zoom in a bit we will pick the modifier or the uh, move tool to see what kind of uh, soft selection we have. Come to here, let's move those up a bit. Let's add a light inside of here so I can see what the kind of depth we're dealing with. Shift button, move another one into place. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Here we'll go to render again. Yeah, so there's some bumpiness to the ground. Come back into here. over to this part don't need that quite so tall and of course when you hit escape it doesn't do anything in this particular program you select uh, some random ones there to boost right up nice and tall I'm going to create a larger fall off. And I'll boost those up. Zoom this out a bit. Uh, move tool in here. Okay. Let's just pick the whole surface there and we'll show buttons. Do a mess smooth on it. No, that's too much for that. Doesn't need it. That looks fine. Uh, now we have just that selected. We're going to add a UV map to it and we will throw the same texture onto there. Uh, letter M. And we can, yeah, we'll just put it on. Um, what we should see in its UV map. what its uh, UV tile here is. Let's set that to 4 and 4 just to be a little bit different than what the rest is. And with that selected we will uh, come to here and we will collapse all and we're going to now uh, delete some of those extra polygons because there's one bunch here we sh just the extra we don't need. Let's go out W This will just be a quick cut. Nope. There may be spaces that show up inside because I'm not checking, I'm just doing this fast. Okay, uh, now with that, we can. Uh, Show the buttons, Alt W, editable poly. I suppose we could add some noise to that. What did I do there? Let's zoom back in on this. back 
to zero just by right clicking on it and uh, that's fine we're just going to leave it like that now with that all in place we will uh, come back to here and we're going to right click and collapse all we're going to turn that into an editable mesh we're going to select the top one we're going to turn that into an editable mesh and with the top one selected we'll be coming down here and attaching it to the bottom one and we will just call it cave and we will save it as cave yes and um, we will export it as uh, ASC ASCII scene export cave walls or we'll call it that way yes and everything's fine here and uh, now we'll head over <coughs> head on over to the C drive C drive models land test cave walls material count just one come on down here base lose this part and yes it's saved back to here materials already have the uh, land test MTR Textures land test rock and uh, rock ED. There it is. And uh, textures already here. Got both the ED and the diffuse. So models, materials, right click, add zip. Of course, if you just do this inside the DM3 folder with folders like this, you don't have to do this step, but this is sneak that PK4 info in. Uh, cave. and uh, cut. Now we're inside the Dune 3 folder, base, paste, right click, rename, PK4, and uh, now going to the Dune 3 editor. We're inside the Dune 3 editor, right click, inside of here, new model, wait for it to open up the box. There it is, base, models, land test, cave walls, OK zoom down so we can see it. There it is. We're going to uh, control and middle mouse over here so we put the, the uh, camera where we want and we'll just uh, create a whoops, escape off of that. Create a box like such. Uh, about that big. And we're gonna make that a light and we'll copy that and we'll slide another one over here and another one here off on those and we'll come into here move the camera down this way move it in and uh, we'll right click we'll add a monster in there monster uh, zombie bony there he is we can add uh, maybe another one Okay. Those are in place. <coughs> we got the light behind them. We'll come back over this way. We'll uh, zoom in. We'll uh, create a brush here just to have some land to stand on. Back this way. And uh, there we'll add the uh, info player start. And the reason I put the zombies in there is because we're going to actually go in game and check it so we can see the FPS on the on the within this and this is the only spot that has the land uh, facing the wrong way we'll just go into entity and turn it which what appears to be the correct way so now that that's done um, make the old playing game and this is not what you would normally do but this is what I'm going to do and I'm just going to throw a big box around the whole thing and uh, hollow it and Head into text. Uh, head into the media, textures, and common, and the caulking on it, and select off on that. Now I will file, save as, and I will call it test one, and do a full BSP. And now we'll go inside the game itself, 
uh, not through the editor, but with the editor turned off, and see the FPS again and everything with the uh, um, model this size. It's got to be about 3,000 faces. Should have checked it, but it's probably about 4,000 faces, I'll say. Okay, into the game. Okay, well, it's uh, jerking all over, but I can only imagine that's because the uh, screen capture is going on as well. I was hoping to make it all impressive and everything, but, you know, if it jumps up to 77, you know, there's something going on. Like, there's going 84 now, because the game itself actually has a cap of 60 frames per second, and it never shows that. But, uh, so, yeah, there's a, a cave with some ground, and, uh, got some weird shadows and everything, but those are the kind of things you would take into consideration. What's that? Okay, well, there's the great old uh, cave. Quick one, anyways. Don't mess with them there. Do whatever you want. Have some fun.